acid-based questions are notoriously difficult for the board exams, including my favorite USMLE. So what should you do when you get a question beyond <gasps> relax and take a deep breath is remember my favorite people, the Henderson Hasselbalch equation. And what does that tell me? Let's keep it simple. It tells me that the two most important determinants of the pH are carbon dioxide and the bicarbonate. And what do I mean by that? Well, let's say a patient comes in and they're gonna be acidotic. Well, that pH is gonna be low. What do I mean by low? Less than 7.4. And if that's the case, if you wanna know if it's a metabolic acidosis, that bicarb has to be what? Low. How low? Probably less than the number 24. If they're gonna be a respiratory acidosis, that carbon dioxide needs to be what? You're awesome. High. How high? probably greater than the number 40. Then opposite of that, the patient's alkalemic, well, the pH has to be greater than 7.4. And to make the perfect matching, you look at that CO2, that CO2 is gonna be low, less than 40. We say it's a respiratory, respiratory alkalosis. If the bicarb is gonna be high, how high, greater than 24, then it's gonna be a metabolic alkalosis. And this is always going to be the best first initial thing to do before diving into these acid-base problems. I hope you enjoyed that pearl for the day. To get the entire lecture, go to my website, beyondthepearls.net, 40 plus hours of video. It's going to have a podcast, questions, you name it. I hope you check it out.